Hello, this is Jonathan, and you are currently looking at Julia and Brandon Warga buy stuff at the farmer's market. Welcome to the 8th edition of my video journal live from Amsterdam. We are here in the Jordan um, fa um, fa Farmer's Market and there's a lot of people around buying stuff. There's uh, Dutch people and bread and um, some tapenades we just bought. We're going to have lunch, uh, I think, in a local park. Uh, it's uh, the a, a nice, beautiful afternoon here in April and uh, I will show you more of the neighborhood as this video goes along. And here we are at the Albert Hein, the grocery store, where we're picking up a little beer for our lunch. Um, they are choosing now between the, looks like the La Chouf, Chouf, La Chouf, Chouf and, La and they're both uh, and Belgian, Chouf. Belgian beers. They're uh, all Belgian beers, is that correct? Oui. You guys have a particular fondness for Belgian oui. beers. Tell us, tell us more. We like them a lot. All right, cool. Uh, Julia? They're very tasty. You went to Belgium last year. Yes. And uh, did you go to a brewery or anything like that? We did. We did. How was it? It was yeah. fun. It was a very nice tour. And it took you to the top of a brewer the, bel the brewery building in Bruges. Fantastic. All right, now here we are in my apartment. Wave to the uh, crowd, everybody. Yeah. Um, you're looking downstairs. You can see this line in front of my house. That's all for this ice cream that opened a couple of weeks ago and is very popular. Down the street, you'll see somebody begging for money and um, playing some sort of like rock the cradle of love on a, some sort of organ type thingy. Um, not everybody has seen a tour of my apartment, so uh, there's the piano. That's the wall where uh, I can watch stuff right now. It's blank from uh, the projector. Uh, the staircase up to the boudoir, um, the hi-fi kitchen, and uh, my really awesome piece of um, art, underground art. So uh, we're going to go get some ice cream and then maybe uh, get a drink or two and uh, go for Indonesian food for dinner. We're very much looking excited to it. Are we? Yay! That's, that's yes in Ohio. Okay. All right, now we are at the uh, canals in near this big church, which is called Vesterkirk, or the Western Church. I have uh, my stars, Julia and Brandon, here. And uh, you're standing right on what they call the Homo Monument. Do you want to talk a little bit about what that is? Oh, well, Jonathan, you explain it so much better. Uh, it commemorates the lives lost uh, during the, uh, of all time, by homosexuals because of their sexuality, but also specifically, I think, for the, um, the Holocaust and, and stuff. So we're also going to go over to the statue of Anne Frank, and we'll get a, a picture of that. Anne Frank um, used to live right next door to here. Her house is right there. Boink. Boink. Do you want to say something? I was just going to say that if you choose to stay at the Hotel Nadia, where you can think you can view the uh, Homo Monument, believe me, you have to walk over the bridge and actually look for it, because it's not a statue. That's what these guys did last year, the Hotel Nadia being right there. You should be able to make it out there. So anyway, um, all right, we're, we're getting through there. Here we go. This here is the statue of Anne Frank, uh, who lived just around the corner from this church, or right next to the church. You could hear the bells every night. Um, I could hear, I can hear them myself every 15 damn minutes. Uh, but it's actually very lovely and uh, gives you a sense of history and what you used to uh, go through. These are some tourists and traffic. Alrighty then. So, how are you enjoying your life in Amsterdam? Well, it's weird because, uh, you know, I'm only here for four months, and so right now I'm halfway through, um, so there's this sense of beginning and ending, whereas, you know, my other life, you know, there's no specific end point to it that I know of. I mean, there's an end point, I just don't know it yet. So, um, that's sort of colored the experience a little bit. We're here, by the way, at Cafe de Town, spelled T-U-I-N. Um, a lovely little joint that, uh, is right basically across the street from me. Um, but I would say I've had a wonderful time. Um, definitely glad that I did this and um, had all the experiences I've had, the people that I've met and the friends that I've gotten to experience um, with here in, um, in Amsterdam and elsewhere. Do you anticipate having a um, problems readjusting to life in Chicago and yeah. the U.S. in general? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, it's going to be tough. First of all, um, the way that you guys, like, measure your temperature. Like it's a nice 19 degrees here today. Whereas in the US, it's totally different. And um, you guys have like, you like to invade countries and stuff, and here we're all about peace, man. So those are the main things that we touch with us too. But uh, I think I'll be able to do it overall. What are you doing? 
Oh, God. Okay. So um, it, it may be a little tricky if some of the measurements, now that I know what a liter is, you know, might be, might be tough. Will you be able to eat popcorn without yes. the butter? I am so looking forward to coming back just for the butter. My friends, yeah. But the butter on the popcorn, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. It's really difficult to get through an entire movie without damn buttered popcorn. And what about the uh, new Twitter feed that's sweeping the U.S.? Avery on it. I just found out about it a couple of days ago. But it's a, it's, you know, it's a two-month-old infant's views on life and his, you know, his life and his world. Um, it's unusual because most two-month-olds um, aren't really Twitter adept. So he's sort of leading what I think is going to be an increasing trend in America. Brandon, any questions for you? What do you want to do in the time that you have left? In the two months that I have left, well, I have uh, some trips planned again. Um, definitely going to go to Paris and London. Um, I also am planning, hopefully, a trip to either uh, Austria or Germany one more time. We'll see how May goes. Uh, and beyond that, uh, he's really productive for IFLA, uh, get to work on this conference and the uh, social media survey that I'm doing, um, and uh, just, you know, enjoy the different pace of life and the different lifestyle and party a lot with friends. Queen's Day is like four weeks away, and that's going to be amazing. Good time. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching my video journal, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.